<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Norwegian 737 Project in my living room this time. Well, I'm home with my daughter today. She's sick. She's been sick for two days. So, it's time to spend some time at home. Dude, look at that red golf right there, huh? Awesome. 1991. It's even a diesel car. Cheap. Well, there's my living room. There she is. Her name is Caitlin. Hey, hey. <laughs> well, listen. There's, uh, there's not. There haven't been a lot of updates on the, on the, on the project. But there's a few reasons for that. Our hardware is not up to the standard that we wanted, so we've had to buy old, new hardware. So there's been a lot of things ordered up, and we have a lot of packages showing up at our doorstep uh, these following weeks. This is our main instrument panel. It's uh, ordered from uh, SimWorld. It's down in Poland. Supposedly, supposedly be uh, it's uh, one of the best MIPS you can get. But I wanted to show you something a little bit funny. I I discovered it today on mycockpit.org. This is an iPad app, and it's called Circle the Land. For us that likes to fly IFR, just download the map, the the app from the App Store. It brings up all the uh, all the approach charts for uh, well, not all across the world, but some countries that uh, that are supported that have free charts like this. Uh, most of Europe is uh, covered. Let's see, that's Australia, that's Norway, uh, Portugal, Sweden, United Kingdom, United States too. So okay, let, let's look at Norway. That's where I live. And it'll bring up all the available charts, even on the Google Google map. Alta, that's where I, not well, close to where I, I grew up. But I am close to Oslo. Let's see if we can find an Oslo. No. It's called Gardemoen. Oslo, Gardemoen. All right, there we are. Okay, aerodrome chart. Parking, well, parking chart. Pretty much all of the available charts. Let's look at the ILS localized run by zero one right. Oh, there we are. Pretty awesome. Now I don't have to use my computer for that anymore. That's an awesome little map right there. Absolutely awesome, and I'm gonna be using that. So I might set up a little iPad in the cockpit when I'm done. Okay. One more thing I want to show you guys. I'm, I'm playing around with the 180 degree uh, view for the flight simulator. So, got to remember we're going to have those three, three um, projectors running. So, what, I've, what we've done is uh, split five different, well, we've undocked five views in flight simulator. And mix them together, zoom them in, for us to be able to get a 180 degree view. Well, actually, this is more close to 220, 230 degree view right here. Uh, so it's it's going to be enough. This is going to be wrapped around us in a one in a in an attempt at least to make a 225 degree feel uh, wrap around visual around the flight simulator. And at least now we know how to do it. And uh, thanks to Ivar Hasnes, it's, uh, it's a guy from Norway. It's, he's an awesome flight simulator builder. He's, uh, he's the one that made this uh, visual tutorial to do all these things. You can find him on the internet. Just search for Ivar Hasnes visual tutorial. All right. So I'm going to come back with some more information uh, within the next couple of days. Gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head back to the garage start working on the flight sim pretty soon but I've got one more thing I want to show you before we hang up look at this I received the package in the mail I'm sorry guys I, I, I fumbled with my phone and I accidentally turned it off okay let me start again I received the package from flight and gravity in the Netherlands today and it contained a few items that I've ordered up look at this this is for the main instrument panel. Uh, if I could just, these are two master caution switches. 
and I got two fire warning switches. Well, actually, that's fire warning switch, master caution switch. They go along together. These are uh, aircraft fasteners to replicate everything in the main instrument panel. This is a few of them. I've ordered up uh, even more of these from uh, from another company. And these are the six pack recall enunciators, captains, and first officer side. Let's have a look and see. Look at the quality of what what we get when we order from uh, Flying Gravity. Let's see on uh, the tape right there, right there. God damn it! Holding the phone and doing this at the same time is okay. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? There we are. There we are. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, this is some excellent quality. Let's open up this. I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave you hanging there for just a few seconds. All right. Look at this. Yep. This is a pretty good quality recall button right here. I on my other flight sim, uh, my other MIP, I had one of these from uh, Flight Tech Solution. They did not have the recall button. And I don't know why you've not implemented the recall button because I, I visited a friend of mine down in Oslo and he's got the same six pack from Flight Flight from um, Flight Tech Solutions, and it it's it's a it's a new model, and even that don't have the recall function on it. It's like what? Why? Why? Is it that hard to make? So I went with the Flying Gravity, and I don't regret it at all. Not at all. Let's see about this. See, there are small differences between the captain and the first officer when it comes to the symbols. In, uh, in the recalls but yeah this is pretty good quality with the cable everything in it <laughs> plug and play right up to this I do believe it's uh, right into the CP flight board when we receive this and uh, yeah we're good to go okay this is oh yeah this is the first package of many yet to come so I got a lot of exciting stuff to show you within the last couple of weeks next month maybe all depends because we're, we're, we're gonna get items in coming from uh, well I almost say want to say all across the world but almost okay later you guys bye one more thing guys I want to show you this awesome 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 quality before you leave this is the master caution switch obviously Look at this. It is awesome. So look at the fire fire warning switch. It's amazing. I was just amazed when I opened these up and had a look at them. Look at the neat packaging too. Awesome. Just just quality. Everything's quality. Look at that amazing button right there. That's almost what I want to call a true replica. Sound quality right there. These two buttons go together on the main instrument panel. Awesome. Thanks, guys. See you later.